Our breaking news out of Osceola County, a mother and father already charged with neglect are now charged with murder after their six-year-old son died. The Osceola County Sheriff says the parents are to blame and that they abused not only that child, but other children as well. West News' Michelle Meredith joins us live from the Sheriff's Office with more details on this case. Michelle? Well, the parents told investigators that their son went unconscious after drinking water out of a toilet. Well, investigators reached a completely different conclusion and sadly they found much more. A veteran detective said it was the worst case of child abuse she has seen in her 19 years. Dead skin cells from being hurt so badly, just horrible, horrible injuries on all of the children. So 10 months to, to five years old were the surviving children. The parents of the six-year-old child, Larry Rhodes and Bianca Blaze, both face murder charges. It started in July when investigators say they got a call for a drowning at a motel on 192. When they got there, the parents said their son was drinking water from the toilet. But investigators say his eyes were swollen. There was blood. The reason he wasn't breathing was because his parents got very angry because he was drinking out of the toilet, so they started to beat him. First, the mother beat him. Then the father started repeatedly punching this little boy with a closed fist. He punched him multiple times to the head, to the stomach area, to this little six-year-old child. Investigators say the couple had six children, that they all slept in the same bed, that they were not attending school, were isolated, were not getting enough food, and that every one of them had signs that they had been beaten. All the kids had bruises, cuts, and marks on their tiny little bodies. On several of the kids, there was markings that had a distinct pattern. During the investigation, we learned that their parents would send them to the corner of the hotel room and beat them with the bottom of a shoe. Now that veteran detective said that each one of these cases take a little chunk out of your heart. Now we are told that the surviving children are in foster care and that they are doing remarkably well. Live in Osceola County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.